Time for sports. The UT men's tennis team has a chance to make history this season. And it all starts tomorrow afternoon as the Vols host the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Six Sports' Fallon Smith is here with more. Hey, Fallon. Hey, guys. Tennessee has a shot to take home three NCAA titles this year, but the Vols are chasing the program's first ever team championship. Last season, two of UT's top players left to go pro, which surprisingly hasn't phased the Vols at all. Instead, it paved the way for a sophomore to make a sudden rise as the number one player in the country. With a dream of turning pro one day, UT sophomore Michaelis Libiatis left his home in Latvia, a small country in Northern Europe, to play tennis for Tennessee. Yeah, that was my goal. I knew this, this program is one of the best in the country. Now everyone knew Michaelis had game, but pronouncing his name was a different story. Coach Woodruff, he, he didn't know how to spell my name. He called me ten, ten names, different names every, every week. We call him Big Mike, we call him Boots. I call him the Beats a lot. Fallon, nobody can say his name, so we all just, we'll just have fun with it. All jokes and nicknames aside, Michaelis has made program history, becoming the first Vol to be ranked number one in both the doubles and singles singles at the same time. A year ago, he was ranked in the 30s, and that's just evidence of how hard he's worked this season. It's not that hard to believe for me. You can always see it that he's that talented, and he's put in a ton of hard work this year. To see his growth is, to be honest, more important than the ranking itself. I'm just more consistent on what I'm doing on a court because last year I would struggle. I couldn't stay in the points as long as I wanted to, and this year I feel so much better just staying out there. Michaelis, the SEC Player of the Year, has a 35 and 5 singles record. And when he joined forces with Hunter Reese back in March, the pair have gone a perfect 11 and 0 in doubles. Reese is an amazing competitor. Like he hates to lose, and he gives me that that anger in a match. So he's helping me a lot as well. The reason these guys have done so well this year is is because of their teammates. I mean, their teammates have pushed them on a daily basis. Good shots, well done. 1993 was the last time of all took home the NCAA singles title, and it's been even longer for a doubles crown. 43 years, but the big drought a team title. Tennessee has never won an NCAA championship. I can't even imagine the feeling of, of winning winning the NCAAs. It's just something I, we haven't really talked about, but you can't help but think about. I know they would they would much rather get a team championship than any individual championship. I believe in this team and we worked so hard this year and uh, I'm really excited for the tournament. Regardless of the outcome this year and despite all of his success, don't worry, Vol fans, Big Mike isn't turning pro just yet. I'm in a good place over here, and uh, I have a lot of to, still to learn. I'm going to come back and see how it goes. Michaelis will try and become the first Vol to win a singles title since current assistant coach Chris Woodruff did it 20 years ago. But the journey for a team title begins tomorrow afternoon. The number seven seed Vols will face South Carolina State at 2 o'clock.